continuing the essence of Sufism poetry. What is the meaning of fana? We know theoretically what fana means. We gave many examples. Kabir gave the example drop merging in the ocean is fana. But what actually happens in that moment and what is afterwards? When you look at the drop, it has a form, it has a shape, it has its own identity, its own... When we convert this into human being, each individual has its form, mind, intellect, understanding, way of life. And each individual like a drop has its own individuality. And, we, and this is unique. We continue to live in that. Fana means the drop is merging in the ocean. First, its physical form changes with the dissolution of the drop in the ocean. The physical form changes. It does not exist anymore as a drop. When you attain to fun, you do not exist as an individual. In case of an individual, it is slightly different. The changes are very subtle. The body exists as it is. The mind exists as it is. But something changes within. What is that changes within? Your individual will is no more individual. You do not live as an individual. Instead you live, you think, your life moves as totality. Your understanding, thinking and way of life becomes cosmic. No more personal interests. If you look at the merger of the drop in the ocean, it loses everything as a drop. And when it loses everything as a drop, it attains to the magnanimity of the ocean. Its will becomes cosmic will. Its desires becomes cosmic. If the drop can speak, it can tell you that I do not live from this very moment for me, my wife, my children, my family. Instead, the cosmic family becomes my family. That is why Buddha has no family, no father, no mother. As my father, my wife, my children. Instead, they become part of the commune. Buddha gave the concept of commune. All the people living together, working for a common goal of evolution, Everything becomes, if the commune is prosperous, you are prosperous. You do not exist anymore as an individual thinking for yourself, for your family, for your children, for your parents. Somewhere it is a statement of Jesus, unless you kill your father, you cannot come with me means you have to sever all the relations as you know. Only then you can enter 
the realm of spirituality. This is what according to Hindus is called living the life of a recluse. They virtually leave everything but what it is needed that you have to sever all attachments. Attachments, this is mine, this father, this mother. You are looking the deeper aspect of it. You remember when you go on the stage, you are enacting a scene in that you have a screen father, a screen mother, wife, children. You know it very well that these are not my real parents, wife or children. For the duration of the play or the act, they are part of your family. When you finish recording that enactment, those relationships do not exist anymore. Instead, there remains a common goal that for the entertainment of the audiences, you came together to enact a scene, a three-hour act in the form of a movie where you showed emotions and everything but behind the scene you know very well that this person is not my father, mother, wife or children. While we are actors we know this very well. And when on the scene your screen father dies, you show all the emotions and everything on the surface, you have to act the scene of sorrow, sadness, but behind the scene, the moment the scene is over, this pain agony does not bother you anymore. We consider this natural, this is our acting and we become so versatile in our acting. We make love scenes, various scenes we enact as part of entertainment package. We show various emotions, love, jealousy, hatred, concern, all these things we show on the stage. So too is the life of an awakened one. He gets involved in all these things. He feels happy and sad. He cares for the family, children, father, mother, wife, husband. But he forgets in that process that all this is an act. This act may be of 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 30 years, but it is an act. Instead of three hours, we consider these relations as real and we continue to live in the ignorance of this. Fana means you are becoming aware of the true nature of you become aware of all these things you know these are ephemeral fana means you are becoming aware of this and you continue to live your life in that awareness that this, on this scene, on this stage, this is a particular scene of enactment. Sometimes when you watch the TV serials, 
they continue for a longer period of time than three hours. So too the human life goes on for 30 years, 40 years. This man has been your husband or wife or children. And then somewhere along the line, along the scene, you change the husband or wife you undergo pain. So when an individual attains to fana, he realizes the ephemeral nature of all these. He lives totally detached from the pain, suffering. He knows very well that I have lived 30 years of my life without this particular spouse, without the children. So when the spouse is no more, children is no more, how can you be unhappy then? The individual will is merged with the will of the totality. You are part of the greater commune that is totality. You do not live your life as a particular micro cause. You still remain as an individual micro cause, but everything dissolves in the macro cause. This presence is known as ocean. This is one shore of the journey. And with this, the journey of transcendence begins. One show. This we have to keep in our mind very clearly. We live our life one way and our thinking is another way. I have heard a man was going to attend a Halloween party dressed in the costume of the devil. On his way it began to rain, so he darted into a church where a revival meeting was in progress. At the sight of the devil's costume, people began to scatter through the doors and windows. Somehow one lady got her coat, coat sleeve caught in the arm of one of the seats and as the man came closer she pleaded Satan I have been a member of this church for 20 years yet still I have really been on your side all the time so please excuse me but such is the situation of all so-called ladies and of gentlemen who are, who we see around us. Fana means you have understood the essence. We continue to pay lip service to God and in reality we are surrendered to the devil. The devil is deeper because devil has been repressed. Whenever something is repressed, it goes deeper into your being. You become only a hypocrite on the surface by asserting the symbol of animal. Sufis declare we are simple people. We do not know what is good and what is bad. We only know God and whatsoever happens is his gift. We accept it. We are not doers on our own accord. This is the first meaning of the word Sufi and the essence of Sufism that we do not live as an individual. Our individual will is merged in the will of the totality or will of God.